This video covers how to clean a negative pressure germ-free LFGI. The unit maintains negative pressure within the work area in order to prevent the materials being processed inside the LFGI from escaping into the outside environment. When cleaning, pay special attention to controlling the spread of contamination from the work area and dispose of used cleaning materials and gloves in a manner consistent with federal, state, and local regulations. Because of the critical nature of the products that will be made in the LFGI, a thorough cleaning is needed before the unit is put into service and regularly as required by your facility's SOPs. This video will address both the rigorous cleaning and a lighter cleaning to be performed between preparations. Your organization's cleaning and disinfection requirements may require work practices that are different than the general guidance in this video. Germ-Free recommends considering USP 797 and USP 800 guidance, as well as consideration of all applicable state and local regulations. Consult your supervisor with any questions you may have. Depending on what you're processing, you may need some or all of the following items to clean your LFGI. Pre-saturated sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes and pre-saturated disinfectant wipes can speed the cleaning process by getting the right amount of disinfectant or sterile alcohol solution onto the surface and by trapping and mechanically removing contamination. Some surfaces are harder to reach and may be cleaned more effectively by a liquid disinfectant or sterile bottled alcohol applied to a cleaning pad on an isolator cleaning tool. To get the best results, start cleaning in the area with the least contamination and work your way toward the dirtiest. Use overlapping strokes to ensure that you don't miss anything. Your LFGI is designed and built to provide many years of reliable service when properly maintained. Use the right solutions for each type of surface. On stainless steel surfaces, use sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol solution or a solution that has been formulated for stainless steel. Acrylic front and side panels should be cleaned with a low linting or non-shedding wiper and a mild detergent, or a solution that's been specifically formulated for cleaning acrylic. To prevent fogging or crazing acrylic surfaces or the control panel, never use an abrasive cleaner, organic solvent, or a window cleaner that contains ammonia. Never spray a liquid cleaner or disinfectant directly onto an electronic instrument or control. When cleaning with sterile isopropyl alcohol, do not use a solution that is stronger than 70%. When cleaning with sterile ethyl alcohol, do not use a solution stronger than 50%. You are now ready to begin your heavy duty or rigorous cleaning of the LFGI. The outside of the LFGI can be cleaned at any time. If the unit remains closed, no additional PPE is needed. Begin cleaning the LFGI by starting at the top of the unit. When cleaning the pre-filter at the top of the unit or any other HEPA filter on the LFGI, do not spray a cleaning liquid directly onto the filter. Saturate a wipe with disinfectant or sterile alcohol, then wipe the pre-filter. Clean each outside surface. To make cleaning or working inside the LFGI easier, the entire cabinet can be raised or lowered with the controls on the right side of the machine. Raise the stand at least three inches to make it easier to reach and clean the caster cross supports. Once the outside of the unit has been cleaned, you're ready to begin cleaning the inside of your LFGI. To clean the airlock, complete the following steps. Clean the top HEPA filter protector with a disinfectant wipe. Wipe the back HEPA filter protector, then both sides of the airlock. Clean the inside of the outer airlock door. Open the airlock door that leads to the work area and slide the tray out into the work area. Clean the bottom filter of the airlock that is normally covered by the tray, then the tray itself. Once you've finished cleaning the bottom of the airlock, slide the tray back into the airlock. Clean the inner airlock door. Close and latch the inner airlock door once you've finished. If your facility's protocol calls for a sterile water rinse, Repeat the previous steps with sterile water to clean away any residue. If your facility's protocol calls for a final cleaning with sterile isopropyl alcohol, repeat steps one through six using IPA. Once you've finished cleaning the airlock, you're ready to begin cleaning the inside of the LFGI, also known as the work area. It may be necessary to open the front viewing window in order to properly clean your LFGI. 
The front window should only be opened after a proper light cleaning has been performed and only while wearing full personal protective equipment. To maximize patient safety, a disinfectant should be used on all of the work area surfaces. Use wipes or cleaning pads to avoid dripping dirty solution onto cleaned surfaces. If needed, remove any disinfectant residue by wiping all surfaces with sterile water or sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol. Complete the following steps to make sure that the work area is thoroughly cleaned. Wipe all surfaces of the filter diffuser at the top of the work area. Clean the back wall of the work area. Clean both sides of the work area. Clean the airlock door, ensuring that all surfaces, including the handle, are wiped thoroughly. Clean all of the bottom work surfaces. You'll need to slide the left tray over the right tray to get below the work trays. Be sure to clean the sides and back under the slider work tray and the air return grill. Wipe the entire HEPA filter protector surface. Slide both work trays to the left and repeat this procedure. Sliding work trays are removable for cleaning if preferred. Simply lift them out and place them out of the way. Avoid spreading the contamination that is being removed. Clean the sliding work tray. Clean all inside and outside edges. Slide the clean tray to the side and repeat the procedure on the other tray. Clean the inside of the window and the window frame. Clean the open front access window from top to bottom. Use a disinfectant wipe to clean the glove ports. Clean and disinfect the IV hanging bar and hooks. Clean and disinfect the front air return grill. Close the front window. Clean the glove sleeves and gloves and replace them on the front window. Without removing the sleeves and gloves, repeat this cleaning procedure with sterile water to wipe away any disinfectant residue or contamination. Turn the LFGI on and close the front access window. Wipe all surfaces of the rest of the work area with sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol. Under sliding work trays, the inside of the front access window, and the gloves and sleeves. Allow the LFGI to run for 10 minutes before use. Between preparations, it is recommended that you perform a light cleaning to reduce the risk of cross-contamination. The front window should remain closed during this procedure. Open only the outer door of the airlock. Spray a low linting or non-shedding clean wipe with sterile alcohol and wipe the top and back HEPA filter covers. Spray the remaining surfaces, including the tray, with sterile alcohol and wipe dry with a low linting or non-shedding wipe with overlapping strokes. Leave the spray bottle in the airlock and close the outer airlock door. Run a purge cycle. Open the inner airlock door and remove the spray bottle. Spray all vertical surfaces in the work area with sterile alcohol and wipe from top to bottom with clean wipes. Use overlapping strokes moving left to right. Spray the air grills and work surface with sterile alcohol and wipe from left to right with overlapping strokes, moving back to front. Spray the sleeves and gloves and rub together, then wipe off. Spray the same surfaces lightly and allow to air dry. If all materials are wiped down prior to placement in the airlock, it should remain clean for a number of preparations in a row. 